a lot of you keep telling me that you're afraid of drawing. That when you pick up a pencil and start to draw, uh, then you just freeze up. Well, I have a little set of exercises I think will help you get over that. You might say that I've spent my entire career helping people get over being afraid of drawing. The thing is, uh, what you're afraid of is what will happen. Well, let's get rid of all of that and let me show you exercise, a uh, little set of three exercises that you can do. I will tell you, these exercises are really outlined in my book, Finding Freedom to Create. Um, you can find it on Amazon.com or Barnes and Noble, uh, either in hardback or paperback. But beginning on page 22 uh, through page 25, I guide you in detail about doing this exercise, these this set of exercises. Now, I want to say this: one exercise doesn't cut it. Whenever you're, whenever you're doing an exercise in order to hone a skill or to develop a skill, it needs to be done at regular intervals. So you want to set aside maybe five minutes every day, do this exercise five minutes every day, 28 days and I'll guarantee you you'll be totally over your fear of drawing. So here's the way it goes. The first exercise is called the air glide exercise. And what that what we will need for that is simply your hand your finger, a closed eye, and some movement. So here's the way it goes. Look anywhere in the room. It doesn't matter where it is. Anywhere in your environment. Find a shape in that environment. Then close one eye. Ex extend your arm all the way without any bend to your elbow. Point your index finger at that thing. Then allow your index finger to glide along the edge of that thing you're looking at, whatever that image happens to be, allow your finger to glide along the edge of that. This is called the air glide exercise. So that means that your finger will glide along every edge you see. And then at the end of those edges or that edge you will move to the next edge and your finger will glide along that edge and then to the next edge and then to the next edge. And you just keep allowing your your finger to glide along the edges you see. When you do that, you're actually drawing what you're looking at, but you're drawing it in the air. There's no evidence left, so you feel pretty secure about that. Now, if you wanted to, you could practice the air glide ex exercise several times, or maybe over a period of time before you go to the next one. You'd want to feel real comfortable with the air glide exercise before going to the next one, which I call the phantom drawing exercise. Now for that one, all you need is a surface of some sort. If you want to make it an upright surface, or if you just want the surface to be flat, either way, it doesn't matter what kind of surface it is, it is as long as it is a smooth surface. I've just got a sheet of paper here, and if you wanted uh, to use paper to make you feel a little bit closer to drawing, that would be just fine to do. Now with this one, you do a similar thing. Uh, but this time, you start with the air glide ex exercise. And so let's suppose that between you and me, there's this basketball, right? And just imagine. So you, you would do the, glare, uh, the air glide exercise where you close one eye, you hold your index finger pointing at the edges of that basketball, and you simply go around it and around it and around it until you sort of memorize it. Now, you can do the air glide part of this as long as you need to. Then, to do the phantom drawing exercise, you close both eyes, you take your index finger, you go to the surface, and you draw your memory. Just draw a, a, a memory of what you just saw. That's called phantom drawing. I, I created that. Phantom drawing. So that would be the second step. Now, you might want to take yourself through these two steps over a long period of time before you go to the third step. Where you go through the air glide, then you go to the phantom. Air glide, and then to the phantom. And then, once you feel that you pretty much have these mastered, 
then go to the next one which is cruising the cruising exercise for that one you need some paper any kind of paper doesn't make any difference you'll need a pencil doesn't matter what kind of pencil as long as this is a pencil and here's what you do you you take the pencil and hold it in your hand like this so that it extends along your index finger. Now in these exercises your index finger has been your drawing tool. Now we're just going to add a pencil along with the index finger so that it then can do the air gliding. And so imagine again we have this basketball in front of us and now you'll close one eye you're going to do an air glide and with the point of the pencil, this time the point of the pencil touches the edge of the basketball. With the point of the pencil you go around and around and around and around until you feel like you really have that image of the basketball into your entire being. Then you go to the next step which is the phantom drawing. And, but this time with the phantom drawing what you will do is you'll go to the paper and you simply draw a memory. Just draw the memory without touching the pencil. Remember this is phantom where you're simply drawing the memory. Now the next step you're cruising, keep it moving, keep it moving, move to the paper and let the paper record that memory. If it goes a little bit wacky, no matter, no matter at all. This is the exercise. So what you do, you draw it in space first, you phantom draw it second, which means that phantom drawing you're near the paper but you're not making that mark on the paper yet. And then you just let that pencil kind of glide into the paper and you cruise along the paper in that same shape that you air glided and did your phantom drawing off. Do this sequence of exercises over a period of a month or so. I guarantee you, you will be over your fear of drawing. Remember, you can spend a great, whatever amount of time you need on the first one. Then add the second one, the phantom drawing to the air, air glide. Put those two together over a period of time. Then add the cruising exercise to the, put the three together over a period of time. And then I think you will find a real reward and you will feel joyful about drawing rather than fearful. If you found this quick tip helpful, you might also find our instructional videos helpful at dyingmice.com. We have downloads and DVDs numerous and numerous selections. Give it a try. And there's your quick tip.